Good evening everybody, I'm Fictional Crystals and Matt Holt is back. At Seoul Comic Con in South Korea, they played a new Voltron trailer. After showing episodes of Voltron Season 3, Voltron Season 4 will be coming out Friday, October 13th. Strange date to choose to release it, but at least we don't have long to wait. This season will only have 6 episodes. That's because it's basically meant to be the other half of Season 3. If you combine Season 3's 7 episodes and Season 4's 6 episodes, that is 13 episodes. If you combine Seasons 3 and 4, you get the same amount of Voltron as you did in Season 1 or Season 2. The reason they decided to make the season shorter like they are now is so that we can get more Voltron more often, and less huge hiatuses. The new Voltron trailer is unfortunately in Korean, but I think we get enough information from what we can see, even if we don't have the trailer in HD. So let's take a look. First there are scenes from Changing of the Guard, which we have already seen, it was season 3 episode 1. That is why Lance is in the blue line instead of the red line. Aside from the scenes that we've already seen in season 3, this trailer is very page centric. Seasons 2 and 3 did not have much pitch. She's gotten closer to finding her brother Matt. But but hasn't made a major step forward. Until now, Paige is able to find out where Matt might be. In the first episode of season 3, she did find a way she could track where he was. Nanothermite titanium boron, hey maybe we can track that! Paige has been going all over the place to find out who Matt was taken by. She knows that they are rebels to the Golra Empire, freedom fighters. Like these two aliens that rescued Shiro. The same type of ship Shiro took from these aliens can be seen again in another one of the season 4 trailers. These are rebel ships, not Golra, that's why the lions aren't attacking. Paige is getting more information about who took Matt. She looks like she's on a planet without the other paladins. The planet is in very bad condition. There's a person with a cape in the foreground. Several of the rebels wear capes, including Matt himself. Paige may not have the other paladins, but she is with some rebels. This alien's clothes have the same color scheme as the rebels. Paige is seen running with something in her hand. I assume it's something dangerous and important. She has a very distressed look on her face. I'm getting some Star Wars vibes here. She's disguised herself, but you can still see her paladin armor under the cloak. There, Pidge finally finds Matt. Matt has totally changed. He used to be so scared, but look at him now. Him and Pidge are fighting alongside each other. He's not even using a weapon in the shot, just his fists. They're fighting an alien reminiscent of a lizard. Due to the tail and the color, this species looks similar to Lotus General Narty. We know Narty is part Golra, part something else. Could be this species, however, the faces are different. This lizard guy has eyes, which Narty does not. Pidge gets tossed across the room. On Instagram several months ago, as was voice actress put this on her Instagram story. Matt reunites with Shiro too, not just Pidge. He's going to be joining the team. Whether or not this is the real Shiro or just a clone, either way he's not the Black Lion's paladin anymore. While the five current paladins are forming Voltron, Matt and Shiro will have their own fights to fight. I can't wait to see the Holt siblings finally reunite. Season 4 really does look Pidge focused. She is stepping back into the spotlight, like Lance did in season 3. But anyway, thanks for watching and stay hyped for season 4. Don't worry Matt. I'll find you.